you are you are you waiting for your father or your mother? Who are you looking for? Get out! But I told you about this, she will fix it. And I told you to be careful. Didn't I tell you that? Even my shoes are open, I've not fixed them yet. Just, just put them in your bag and just uh, fix them as we go to school. No, I don't have money for those kind of things. I told you, be careful, be careful. You go to school, take your time. You don't have to play like the other children. They have it so much. Hey, Mama, you want to play with your shoes? Let's try, let's try to catch the bus. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's go. Alright, Lagos, Nigeria, Africa. My people of Lagos, I greet you now, the most popular city for Africa. The city where they tell us, say, the people with the inside now, 13.6 million, but we, <laughs> it's our mind, we know the truth, say, we know over 20 million population. <laughs> because, you know, say, they got the lie with the food in this country, they did divide everything by half. Imagine Nigeria, where they tell us, say, the people with the inside now, 150 million, but we don't pass say, over 200 million. Eh? Thank you, man. You're wasting your time. Ooh. Okay. Buy me some trail, eh, Papa. I see, man. Where do you get one? Where do you see one? You buy me some. You don't even buy yourself something. decided to watch your interview. Thank you, sir. Your interview was good, but not good enough. Considering what you applied for. Your inexperience was quite apparent. Now I understand you're a student of architecture engineering, right? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm reading architectural engineering, but I've, I've actually been in and out of school. You know, I, I know the job you have uh, on offer is uh, for a field supervisor, but I can assure you, sir. I'm you work with me, young man. In fact, the last assistant I had just left and took with this and small firm. Of course I allowed that because I thought 
I uh, gave him too much money. So you, you mean, uh, you want me to work for you? <laughs> Sir, I, I just want to thank you. I, 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 I thank you. And I, and I thank God. I think God has finally heard my prayers. Sir, I, I've been looking for a job for so long now. It's, it's been weeks, months, and, and, and a couple of years looking for work, but it's been, it's been so difficult. I, I thought I was never going to get unemployment. And now you, sir, I promise you, I'm going to work as hard as possible. I, I will do anything you want me to do. I like what you said. I'll do anything. Yes, sir. Uh, in fact, those who work for me earn close to seven digits, not counting several allowances and a yearly bonus. You will work for me and me alone. You go to every place that I go, do all the things that I do, and at times you will sleep in my house. So. I really don't understand. I have a nine-year-old daughter who lives with me, and I, I've never spent a night away from her. That's the problem. You will earn enough to purchase an apartment of your own, and then hire house helps. <laughs> so I, I don't know. It's difficult for me to commit to. It's something I don't it's understand. Your man. Ah, Raymond, we will not only be working in this office, really, but we'll use this office as a base. You will work for me. You will work to make me happy and do all the things that I work and I want. No, of course, the firm will pay you directly, but I will pay you enough to make you live big. Well, Raymond, don't be deceived by what you've heard about how young people make it so big. It's not because they're so good at what they're doing. It's because they make smart choices. <laughs> so, yes, I want to thank you so much for the job offer, but I, I can't commit to something that I don't, I don't understand. I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm needy. I really need a job. I, I mean, yeah. I never thought that somebody was even going to offer me a job. But I don't, I don't have a clear understanding of what I'm, I'm going to do, and it's, it's difficult for me. You're smart enough, Raymond. You can figure it out. Oh, that's unless. You want to work. <laughs> Sir, I... I want to thank you so much for the job offer, but I... I can't commit to something that I don't, I don't understand. I... I know I'm, I'm, I'm needy. I really need a job. I, I mean... I never thought that somebody was even going to offer me a job. But I don't, I don't have a clear understanding of what I'm, I'm going to do and it's, it's difficult for me. I really feel uncomfortable right now even um, having to think about everything you've said to me. I know you'll find somebody who's way more competent than I am. Thank you so much for the job offer and I, I appreciate it. God oh, bless you, sir. Boss, please, I just want to drop my, my CV, that's all. Let me just talk to the receptionist or somebody. Just, just... Come on. I, I, I read, I read on the internet you guys are recruiting. I just want to drop my CV, that's all. Sadiq! Sadiq! Sadiq, come on, man, it's me, Ray. 
Ray, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> <Ray. laughs> <laughs> man, life's kind of happy, man. Like, you know, I, I had to drop out of school and then, you know, I have my little daughter to take care of. It's very difficult, man. That's so sad. That's so sad. So, what are you doing now? Besides, what are you doing here? Yeah, I, I heard you're recruiting here, man. I'm looking for a job so I can grab my, my, my CV and but What? You work here? Of course I work here. What? <laughs> <laughs> man, that's perfect for me, man. Look, oh, I just I just want to drop my CV. I, man, I want to work. Like anything, man. Any job you can get me, man. It, it's not a problem. I'm sure I can look you up. You drop your CV with me. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's not a problem. That's but, you, you, you would have to come tomorrow. Man. No problem. I'll come back tomorrow, man. I've been looking for so many years now. Nah, you talking about come back tomorrow? Okay. Well, I'm sad, <laughs> Uh, thank you. So tomorrow, right? Um, let, let me let me give you my card. Yeah. Right? Uh, I don't I don't have my card here, but let me let me give you my number. Yeah, just call it to me, man. Come on, man. Are you call it? I think I'm you. I can remember I'm now. I beg. Call the number. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Zero eight zero. Zero eight zero. Three four zero zero. Zero zero three four zero zero. Eight one zero two. Eight one zero two. Zero zero three four zero zero. Eight one zero two. Got it. Uh, forget. Are you sure, bro? That's <laughs> it, man. <laughs> man, see? The That's my guy. He's a bust. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow, man. <laughs> what? That's dick. Hey, Sura. Daddy. Hey. How are you? Hi, Daddy. I thought the rain's coming again. All my friends are gone. Oh, I'm sorry, Sura. I had a busy day today. How did it go, Daddy? Mm, not too good, but uh, I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Daddy's going to get a job, so. It's okay, Daddy. <laughs> Come here. Oh, let's go. Uh, Hi. Hi. Let's go. Bye bye, madam. You see, your own thing that they come out every day. High school now. Uh, they teach you how we do everything. Eh? Uh, uh. I'm under there. Hey, Papa, what is this? Hey, Mama. Papa, your money is not complete now. Uh, Mama, Dad, I will. Mama, just just add it to my bill. I will. I will, I will pay now. Hey! Ah, now which kind of pattern be this? Every time when you buy something, you go to the supermarket. Add and add and add. The ones that when you chop down, you don't over increase. Ah! But me, I don't tire. Oh. I don't tire for this kind of thing. No, oh. I don't tire. Now because of my friend, no. Oh. If not because of my friend, I'm not going to sell you credit. I don't tire. And every time, every time, how many times have get inside this small shop? Where they owe me over five thousand. Ah, every time we go talk, say, man, you go go work for where my husband they work. You not go creep. You go send them by force. Now this work you won't do. Come go construction company. Come go the rukwangpo. Make you your block, man. Make you the see money. Ah, for the tie tie up and down, they look for work. Money is for the whole world. Ah, okay. Ah, ah. I think I can't look for money. So while well, on your block, no. Yeah, yeah, the job fair is every day. I wish I had a chance to okay. say goodbye. Okay. Holding you in my hands, it's okay. Walking you through the door, that's fine. So, yeah, eat. I, I, will, I will go outside and get something to eat. Eat. I want my girl to eat and be strong so that you can learn very well, okay? Oh, come on, eat. It's okay. Oh, 
my little girl, my little angel. She has no idea how much I love her. We've been together through thick and thin. I remember when we were kicked out of the house by our auntie. She was there, strong. She never cried the entire night. Even though we slept on the street in a kiosk, no food to eat. As a baby, no food the entire night. But she never cried. She was strong. Strong for me. I love her so much. I love her so, so much. Mama Dada. Uh, who be that? Who? Raymond, it's me, Raymond. Mama Dada, please, I just I just want to talk to you for one minute. This guy is the best with the five best. Now, what's your problem? Okay, go and they come. Ah. Come, what do you do your face? Ah. No, tell me. Come, no, tell me. It's the best to die. Mama, Dada, please. I want to make you beg Baba Tunde. I want to come to the construction site to help him to work. I, I just want to do something to earn some money, please. So now, now, you sleep, wake up. No, tell me now, now, you know, say, <laughs> this is what they do you. <laughs> you don't get duplicates. Now, now, says, just enter your head. See you. You will be saying you be young, strong, vibrant man. You day here, they sit down for house. You they fall, and they fall off each other. Mama, they are now. Mama, they are waiting now. What is that? What is that? What is that? And they call. Are you, Raymond? Ah! This guy needs to go carry my wife come home for his house. Go for the beggar on this guy night. Ah! Now, wow! Ah! And they come. And they come. It's too light to me. I'm so used to it. Anyway, you you know, you know, if they do, Zem. I don't forget. I'm telling you, we get money, go feed the people. <laughs> now money be fine, bro. But anyway, no problem. I, I go see you. Hey, call, 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 before I forget to. Tomorrow, 6 a.m., may you come. Call no door. So you will tell you where to go. Oh, thank you. Like, no that. problem, no problem, no problem. No. Thank you. Hey, I'm about to do that, the bubble. Angel, Angel, come here, come here. 
I want to talk to you. I'm not ready to talk to you. When I'm ready to talk, you'll know. Or that you would even come to my place of work. Really? Place of work? You call this place of work? Come on, Angel, look. I just want to talk to you, okay? And you've not been picking up my calls. Listen, I'm not even going to... I think you should leave. James. Please. Look, Angel. I want to talk to you. You need to pick up my calls. Otherwise, I'll keep coming over and over again until you pick up my calls, okay? Rubbish. But Ninja, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I saw you, but my guy me cannot let you enter. Why, no, no, listen. He, he, him say he go, he go sack me if I let you enter, and me, I don't want to allow. Trust me, your guy is my friend. We were in school together. When you see him, and I'll talk. But for me, I guess now I won't be inside. Security, just, just listen to me now. Uh, who they look for? They look for Baba Tunde. Oh, Baba Tunde, eh? Baba Tunde, they for back here. Yeah. He did for back. He did back here. Yeah. So he know, he did back. back. By, by the way, you go see him for back. I'm back in there, yeah? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Baba? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Raymond! Baba? Is this how you want to be working with me? Baba, I'm sorry. I went quickly to check for a job uh, after I dropped my daughter at school. Is that what you told me, Raymond? You said you were going to drop your child in school. Is that not what you said? Baba, true, but I also told you I would be checking for jobs. You know, a better job as I work here. Raymond, never despise the, the little beginning. Eh? The time you spend in looking for bigger jobs, who will even give you the big jobs? Talo mafue. Oh, Rishwe, ni wobatae. Look at your shoes. They are open. See them. 
You have won the whole of Lagos State. Ha! Raymond, do you know that the years you've been struggling might have been averted? You know, if you had just joined this our job and be doing it with all your heart, it would have helped. Forget the fact that uh, Ifemi was the one who told you to come. I was the one who told her. Forget her. I was the one who told her that she should tell you to come and work with me. See, I wanted to become a professor. But, you see, things happen. You know, life does not deal us what we want. But whatever it gives us, we have to make the best out of it. That is life for you. Eh? See, let me tell you, whatever you are doing, just do it well. That is it. Be honest about it. I don't know anything about you. Because you don't talk to anybody. And I don't even talk to you. But one thing I know is, Raymond, you are suffering. You are struggling. Have I? See, eh? I'm not proud to do any kind of job. I'm not too big. I can do any kind of job once it earns me something. Even before I moved close to the house, there, close to you there, I've, 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 I've done all kinds of jobs. I've worked as, as a bus driver. I've worked as a, 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 I've washed car, cars for people. I've, I've washed people clothes. I've, 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 I've driven taxis and all that. But the only thing is that I just want a better life for my daughter. I don't want my daughter to see me as a failure. Raymond, I don't think your daughter will see you as a failure. She will even be proud to see you working honestly to take care of her. Hey, eh? you just keep on working and leave the rest to God. Come, let him get you something. Oh my God, um, so late. Alrighty, eat up, drink up. That's good. Hey, you okay? I'm, I'm sorry, I know it's way past for pickup time, but... No, just... that's okay, Mr. Abam. It's okay. Just call me Raymond. Okay, I'll call you Raymond if you call me Angel. Okay, Angel. Okay. <laughs> what happened? Were you, were you in an accident? Oh. Yeah, I had this uh, job. I had something to do, I just took much of my time, that's all. All right. Uh, but I'm, I'm sorry I was late. Come on, let's go. Daddy, I want to go to church with Madame Angel on Sunday. Yes, so we talked a lot and she told me she had never been to a church. You can come too, it's just a two-hour service. It's nothing, no big deal. I'm sorry, did, did I say something wrong? No, it's okay. Uh, you can. You can take her to church, right? I, I'm not going to church. You can, you can take her to church. It's okay. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay, Suda, let's go. Hold on. How about I drop you guys off? It will be difficult to get transportation at this time. Plus, at least I get to know your house. So I know where to pick her up.
show you your homework. Thank you so, so much. I mean, you're way too kind. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. I mean, like, uh, come to pick her up late, like, almost every day and you've never complained. Okay, I chose to do this job. I love being around kids. There's just something about them that I just like to be around all the time. So it's fine. I enjoy my job. <laughs> it's okay. I never, ever thought she would ever go to church. But uh, who knows? Life could be different for her. Why do you say that? It's okay. I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you so, so much again. Oh. <laughs> ah, I'm so dirty. <laughs> love beautiful buildings, tall buildings. I used to think the owners must be gods, great people. I mean, how could they erect such tall, beautiful buildings? Oge used to always laugh at me. She thought I could own one of these myself one day. <coughs> Imagine me, Raymond Obong Akba, Kalabak boy owner of a high-rise building in Lagos. <laughs> but she believed it. She believed it was possible. She used to say to me, Ray, you are smart. One of the smartest I've ever met. You have so much to offer this word, Raymond. You can do just about anything. your day. I've missed you. Hi. Where are you going? Uh, I I went to fix my, my phone. I went to Sakatunubu. So. Right, right, right. So we went to church. I enjoyed church and I made some new friends. That's great. And we bought some things. We got some new clothes, jeans, trousers, shoes. Soon my girl is going to be stunted. Why, why are you looking at me like that? It's not like I bought you anything. Ray. Ray, you're going to move in with me. I mean, I have a beauty that you can use. Ray, Ray you can't keep living here. This, this place is horrible. You, you can't keep staying here. Don't give me that look. It's not like you have a great going on here. Look, Ray. I have a huge house with no one else in it but my house help. Ray, I've spent the past few hours with you. Ray, you are smart. You're so smart that you make my degree look like nothing. I just want to help you. I just want to help you get a degree or, or so and, you know, make the most of your potentials. Ray, I'm not looking for a man, okay? I have a boyfriend. Uh, I... I had a boyfriend. But, I mean, even if I was looking for a man, Ray, come on. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for trying to make you have a better life. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay, it's okay. It's not that. It's, it's just that I've never been treated as good before by anybody. Especially a person like you. Nobody has ever treated me this nicely before. So, what do you want to do? You want to cry? Stop. If you cry, I'll slap you. Just stop it. Stop it, okay? You'll be fine. I'm here for you. You'll be fine. Let's go. Uh -uh. Come on, let's go. Let's go. 
Thank you, but I can't. I can't take your gifts. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I can't take. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. I wish I had a chance to say goodbye. Dad, why did you treat Madame Angel like that? Why? Madame Angel has been so nice to me. She's always the last person waiting with me at school. Since Mama left, I have no mother. I remember right now. It's I'm sorry, okay? Deep I didn't mean to treat now. Madame Angel badly. I'm just, just I'm just scared. Go. I'm just afraid of losing you, that's all. I, miss you. I was waiting for you to grow up right now, and become much bigger I so I can explain you. a few things to you. Ooh, yeah. But look at I you. Wish I could bring You've you grown up faster than your age. Your mother, she didn't leave to travel or abandon us like I've made it to seem, but she died whilst giving birth to you. I have never loved a woman as deeply as I loved your mother. She was the most beautiful, kind, sweet compassionate she was the best thing that ever happened to me hey apple is 17 naira. i know 15 naira. okay take take out 50 i'll give you more so i go go on now okay okay orange uh four for uh only uh goodbye okay holding you in my hands what do you want, these are 50 50 naira, but. Okay. 250, but I can give you for, for, for 200 naira. Just one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, I beg you, just, just hold it like this, eh? So you put it in your car. You want me to carry you, go put it in your car. Thank you, Ma. Ma? What's wrong with you? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Ma? Ma? What's wrong with you? Ah! Ma, what have I done now? Your, your clothes is torn now. What have I done? Oh, oh my God, please. I'm so sorry. What have I done now? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Well, you see, you don't, you don't break my hand now. What have I done now? I'm not serious. Don't take me to the hospital, please. So that's how we met. Your mother's family didn't like the fact that she was seeing me. A mere fruit seller and nobody. They did everything possible to keep me out of her life. But she stood. She was she was strong. She loved me deeply like no one has ever loved me before. Why is stop? Hi, sis. Hi. Look Hi, she sis. So beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Sister. Well, for a very long time, I've been telling my kid sister to get a boyfriend. But she's been telling me, oh, I'm sorry, I can't deal. I've been busy with work. I literally do not have time for myself. This, that, that. This is the first time I'm actually seeing her with a man. Nee. 
You're growing up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. So what's your name? I'm Raymond. You can call me Raymond. Uh, okay. Sis, can I see you inside? I'm not moving an inch with you. See you inside for what exactly? Good. I hope this is not the fruit seller that was supposed to be at the boys' quarters helping you with cleaning, washing, cooking and all of that. Or has he started doing that house chores under the day? Shut up! How dare you talk to me when I'm talking? You think whatever judge you have over my sister will work for me? No. Shut that uncouth contraption you're calling out else. You will leave me with no option than to shut it up for you with a slap. Enough of this drama. Go upstairs, pack every of your belongings and leave this house now! No, he's going nowhere. This house belongs to me. Father gave this house to me. And I have the right to invite whoever I want to invite into my house. Excuse me. Who get you? Suddenly you've grown nice. You're talking back at me. Your elder sister. Because of this neat one. Because of this stinking, frustrated, wretched human. Let me remind you quickly. I'm your older sister. And dad told me to take good care of you. And that is exactly what I'm doing. I want the best for you. I don't want you to end up with a wretched man who can barely afford a cup of curry. No. And what you should understand is that I am a grown woman. I have the right to make my own decisions. Please. We, oui, please let's go. And do not forget that father was a bread seller when he came to Lagos. Don't let luxury deceive you, big sis. Be a people of very, very humble beginnings. Ray. Fool. Big fool. So you're going with her in Ugambia. It's all right. Listen, I, um, I just want to apologize for what happened yesterday. Um, I'm truly sorry. Is that bad? Raymond, just uh, Raymond, it's okay. Raymond, I'm sure you did what you thought was best. I hold nothing against you. Listen, um, there are things about me that you don't know about. There are things about my past that are still present with me each and every day. It's okay. You can you can take Chidima to church whenever you want. You can spend time with her. You can uh, take her out. I don't want to keep her in a cage. I don't want to keep her in a box. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I really appreciate everything you do for her. Have a nice day. If you're truly sorry, then please accept the gifts. They're still in my booth. Come on, Raymond. She picks them up herself. Listen, I know I'm poor. I know I need a lot of things in my life, but I take pleasure in providing for my daughter. Chidima means everything to me. Angel, you can't keep doing this for us. Listen to me, Mr. I care deeply for Chidima. It has nothing to do with you. I know that she needs somebody other than you. I didn't even buy you sneakers. I didn't buy you t-shirts. I, I didn't buy you trousers. It was for Chidima. It's about Chidima. And if you can't see any good deed in all of these things, then it's your problem, not mine. Do have a great day, Mr.
Nine years old, the little girl, black girl. Did you just rush her to the hospital? I didn't see anybody. So I'm here since morning. I didn't see anybody. She, you just brought her in. I, I, were you here the whole day? Just about maybe 30, 30, 45 minutes ago. I didn't see anyone. You didn't see anybody. I wish yes. I had a chance to say. Can you, can you just goodbye. check with me? You, you were out and rushed, rushed in the hospital. Holding you, you in my hand. I've shaken my head. Walking you through the door, that's fine. No, I won't let you go. I share a cup with you, tasty wine. I remember everything right now. It's hurting deep inside now. Did I just let you go? I miss you. I wish I had a chance to say goodbye. Holding you in my hands with a smile. Walking you through the door, that's fine. No, I won't let you. Share a cup with you, tasty wine. I remember everything right now. It's hurting deep inside now. Did I just let you go? Nurse, nurse, please, I'm, I'm looking for my daughter. Uh, She's a little girl. She's about nine years old. She was rushed to the hospital. I don't know if you if you've seen her or any any little girl was brought here. Please. I'm not so sure, sir. Because I just resumed my shifts. Okay. Give me a minute, please. Let me confirm from the doctor. Okay. Thank you, nurse. Thank you. Hi. Um, Doctor okay. Abram, please. Yes. I'm aware from the nurse you're actually looking for your daughter. Yes, uh, she's uh, she's a little girl about nine years old. Uh, she was involved in an accident and she was brought to the hospital. I don't know if this the hospital she was brought to. Yeah, a little girl was actually brought in earlier today. Then 
today. Yes. It's, it, I think I think it's my daughter. It's, 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 oh. Can I can I can I see her? Yes, you, yes you can. Yes, can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Doctor, but well, there's something I need to tell you. Oh. What is it? She's a dear. What? She was watching dead on arrival. No, Doctor. No. No. No, Doctor. That's not possible. She, she, she was with me today. She, 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 it's just a little accident, Doctor. That's, no. No. No, 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 Doctor. No, 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 Daddy. Yes, sweetheart. I was thinking, wouldn't it be better if we died and lived in the sky like stars with no worries? Why would you say that? Because I see what you go through every day. You work hard and you are still suffering. Sweetheart, come on. Listen to me. Don't you ever say that. We are still better than many people out there. See the beggars on the street. We're still better than them. I know we don't have a lot right now, but who say you, you, my dear, wouldn't make it big and take us out of this struggle? You can. That'd be realistic. That's not possible. Even my friends. Wait, come on, come on. Don't, don't you ever listen to your friends. Don't listen to anybody. Don't let anybody tell you that it's not possible. You can't make it. Okay? Because... You're beautiful, strong. you're strong, you're intelligent, and you can make it. Say after me. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm intelligent. I'm intelligent. And I can make it. And I can make it. Come here. I love you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Chiruma. 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 Chiruma! Daddy! Chiruma! 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 You! Oh, come on! Chiruma! 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 Why? Why? What have I done? What has she done? Why? Can't you just take me? Can't you just... Can't you just take me? Just take me! Just... Just... Spare my daughter! Just... Just take me! Just... But you just took me! <laughs> what have I done? What have I done to you? What have I done to you? <laughs> Yeah.
<laughs> what happened to you? Prince was thank you. went to almost every hospital in the city. I was, I thought I was going to lose you. I was, I was horrified. Daddy, do you know the woman that hit me? She's your mother's sister. When your mom was pregnant with you, I had planned to take her to the hospital a day or two before she was due because we didn't have a car at the time. But she went into labor a week early and it was after midnight. I went about looking for a car to help me take her to the hospital but nobody stopped to help me. Nobody. I knocked neighbor's gates but no one came out. Not until I met a young man who suggested we use a wheelbarrow. Please, my, my, my wife, my wife is in labor. Please, I, 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 I'm looking for a car to take her to the hospital. I can't find a car. Did you cry? Your wife is in labor. This and that, this and that, this and that. Why, you know, you're carrying her for back. But, you know what's in the time? Go carry up a bag, go ask yeah, her. Let, let, let me go and carry up to the... <laughs> what? I got a barrel for here. Move, carry a barrel, you keep her for hospital. Please, I let beg you. Let me say, you. Goody, goody, cry, they walk up for street like him. Are you a madman? You be a madman. No, you just, don't do. Let just help me. Don't cry, follow me. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We'll get to the hospital soon, okay? a good look at yourself. You're so, so incompetent. I grieve every day why your sister had to die. Just look at you. You're old enough to get married and you're still here. You can't even represent me at anything. All you know is how to jump from one little boy to the other, spending money, spending money. Mom. You made me believe the child was a witch. All because of the young man she was dating. Uncle Raymond. What? What did you just say now? Oh. Oh. <sighs> Chima has been absent from school for a while now. I think she's recuperating after the accident. Thank you so much, but please. <sighs> Madam Principal. I know this is strange and there's a whole lot of explaining to be done. But Chidema is my granddaughter. Her father is my late daughter's fiance. You don't get it, do you? I've been grieving for years. I really need to see her. Please. Just tell us where they live. Please, I beg you. I don't know what's going on in your family, but you know this is against our principles. I know. We're doing this because of children so she can reconcile with her family. Mm. I'll call her teacher. Probably she might have an idea where she stays. Thank you so much. <laughs> Security, please. Uh, can you help me call Mrs. Angel, please? Thank you. Do you have an idea where Chidima stays? 
I will help you to show them where she stays, please. I do have an idea where she stays, but I don't think her father will be very pleased. I understand. But this is our family. This is her grandma and this is her aunt. Please. They really need to see Chilena. Please. Come and kill yourself. Ah. Raymond, come and sit down. At least realize for a while. You've been working tirelessly since morning. Ah. See, this work is not meant to finish us. We are meant to finish this work, Raymond. Raymond, don't come and kill yourself. Baba, Baba, I have a lot of work to do. Let me just get done with my Raymond. work. Raymond. How are you, my darling? How are you? <laughs> okay, okay. I brought this for you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you, Jimmy? Get inside the house! Now! Go! So you see, you can just come here and get her back. Take her away from me! Just wait. Just leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my house now! I said get out! Hear me out, please. You don't know what you've got. Leave my house, go! It's okay, it's okay. Please. Hand it over to them, okay? Let's go. Your food, okay? Eat. Who is it? It's me, Angel. Hi. 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 Come in. I'm sorry, the place is, is very small. I don't, I don't have a lot. Um, uh, Chirima, just eat your food. When you're done, just take your books and start reading, okay? I will talk to Madame Inja outside, okay? Okay, Daddy. I'm sorry, take it. I wish I had a chance to say goodbye. Eat your food. Holding you in my hands with a smile Walking you through the door, that's fine No, I won't let you go I'm so sorry about earlier I, share a cup I really you. did think I was helping I thought Chirima would be so happy to see her grandma and her aunt I realize now that I've probably made things worse I'm sorry. You don't have to explain yourself to me. I, I don't know your pain. I just know that you're very protective of Chidima and I want to be able to help wherever I can. They hurt me. They, they, they hurt me so bad. Because of them, I, I lost the only woman I ever loved. The only person who really cared about me. She picked me up from the gutters. I was just an ordinary fruit seller. But she loved me. But then they hated me so much, so much they abandoned their own daughter. And she, 
she died died i couldn't i couldn't help her they, Say you need blood and they've sent to the general hospital to get blood for you. Okay? Our blood types, they are not compatible, so I can't give you blood then. But the blood will be here soon and you'll be fine, okay? You're strong, you'll be fine, okay? Sorry. What are you saying? Our daughter is going to stay with us. We're going to raise her ourselves. Nobody else is going to raise our daughter for us. Two of us, we're going to raise our daughter. So stop talking like that. I'm weak. Babe, I'm weak. you'll be fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine, okay? I don't think I'm going to make it. Babe, stop talking like that. Stop talking. You'll make it, babe. You'll be fine. Okay? You'll be fine, babe. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Babe? Babe! 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 Doctor! 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 This person way, way before me be talk to Zai Kasi. Well, this was the way we never know. Anyway, I never say I'm way for look the top and still talk like this. And she finds small. Abi, hey Papa, don't go the friend. Her. Even better. Then they friend them me better. At least make them give her money. <laughs> then give her money. May if he pay all my debts. I never see this person before. I watched her heart die right in front of me. You can carry this amount of pain and, and bitterness in your heart for the rest of your life. But he can't have my daughter. I promised, I, I, I promised, I promised Oge that I was going to protect our daughter from them. I can't allow them to take my daughter from me. They can't. The grandma gave me this to give to you. Give it back to her. Raymond, you have to forgive. You don't have to give them access to Chirima in order to forgive. I don't know what's in here. My dear Rima, this is exactly two years since my daughter died. And Ngozi later stupidly kicked you out of the house. I didn't order her to do such. I was at the hospital recovering from my second fainting spell. It's hard to believe, but I would have never allowed you to be homeless with my granddaughter. Yes. I didn't support my daughter's relationship with you because I loved her so much. And I was afraid she had fallen into the wrong hand. I just wanted to see if you were worthy of her. 
<laughs> You're a father now. And I hope one day you will understand. I never meant for all this to happen. Please, forgive me. Olga stopped talking to us when she was pregnant. And I had no idea. She was just being stubborn. I only found out when you used her phone to make the call that horrible night. I was broken and passed out right away. I had already lost her father two years earlier. I couldn't take having to bury my own daughter. Please, my mom. Just find it in your heart to forgive me. I beg you. I might not convince you with these words, but I just want you to know you've proven enough to me that you are a strong and good man. You've proven that you did not care about our money, but you truly loved my daughter. You've been out there struggling with my granddaughter. You could have asked for help from us. Oge was right. You are an honorable man. I'm so sorry. And I pray one day you will forgive me. That one day you will forgive us. I am writing this shoot in case I die before you are ever found to let you know how sorry I am. My heart is breaking into pieces. All I wish for you above all things is to lay my eyes on my granddaughter, to touch her, to tell her I love her. Please tell her for me if you ever get to read this. Everything her mother owned in this family belongs to you both now. With love to the both of you, Mrs. Genevieve Ono Okori. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. She never really goes out to play with any kid. Welcome. Besides, I think for you, I didn't But like, I just fell in love with her the very first time I met her. Like, I walked into the class and I thrown out an open question. And then she was, I, 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 she was so pretty and so smart. I keep telling her. She reminds me every day of Oge. I mean, every single day. So what are you going to do about her mother's family? I don't know. I mean, I, I've tried not to think much about it. I just, I just wish that I had some money, you know, right before they even found us. And like that, I would just feel good inside. I think you're a little bit too hard on yourself. Everything is not about money. How many people do you know who will go through the things that you've been through and still be standing, dignified as you are? I mean, like, 
Money is not the only measure for success. Look at me, my parents have everything. But all I've ever wanted to do is teach. And in fact, I think that I feel at my most successful when my entire class does well. <laughs> it's not about how much you have in the bank. It's not about what, how much you're worth. It's not, in fact, I feel like people like you go through the things that you go through because God has a plan. You think so? I'm talking. <laughs> God has a plan. <laughs> My phone. It's a strange number. Hello? Yeah? Raymond? What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. I can be there on Monday. 8 a.m. Okay, sure, 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 sure. I'll be there, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you, bye-bye. What is it? I think I got a job. The office I applied to last, and I sat the interview. I thought they had forgotten about me, but they just, they just called me. <laughs> I got a job. Oh. Your daddy has got your job. Your daddy has got your job. Your daddy has got your job. They just called me to come. They called me to come right now. My name is Raymond. Raymond Obong Akbar. My friends call me Ray. The last seven years of my life have been the most difficult of my entire life. Even living in the village was so much better. My parents call me Akbene. They said I was late for everything as a child. I didn't walk till I was three. I couldn't talk till I was six years of age. As a result, I didn't start a village school till I was seven years of age. When I finally graduated from secondary school after leaving the village of Calabar, I was 24. But as I was graduating as a juice of my class, everyone said I was very clever and I would do great in a university. Or maybe because I was way older than all the other kids in the class with me. <laughs> For more than seven years of my life, I have been struggling with my one and only sweetheart, my daughter Chidima as I try to give her an education and also educate myself. But as if I've been cursed of something, every single job interview I've gone to has ended with a no. But today, today is my day of rejoicing. I got a call back from an oil company and I know, I know I will get this job. This time around, I know every single thing will change for my life. <laughs> I will. Yes, you're welcome, young man. Thank you, sir. How are you today? I'm fine, fine, sir. Well, Raymond, I invited you today to work with me as a special assistant, not just the field supervisor you applied for. Sir? Yes, working with me is not just tedious, but um, it requires trust. I lure a lot of people into this place, and I try to find out if they have that one quality that I'm looking for, trust. But they don't. In fact, all the overqualified young men that come to work here never ask me what this company is all about. Immorality, illegality, illegality. They don't want to know. All they are interested in is the sound of the money. And of course, the peps that come with it. But you look the humblest of them all, and you also have character. So I've decided to engage you. When you go downstairs now, you meet Mira, and she will take you around the premises and then show you your office. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I, I can go outside. Yeah, this, this thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Oh, God. Raymond. Angel. You know my daughter? <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's uh, the father of the little girl. Tina? Oh. Okay, so just in the bedroom. I need to get to some other offices. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 
You know what's this place is already? Yeah. yeah. So here is the CFO's office. Okay. Yeah. And then here we have the operation manager's office. Okay. Yeah. Here's the kitchen. And um, like you know, we have the cubicles out there for the agents. And mm -hmm. Here, this, your office. This. This is my office? This is your office. Your space. <laughs> Can I sit down? Thank you, Mama. Thank you so, so much for coming. Honestly, I don't know what to say. But I thought I would have died without seeing you in this house. Mama, it's okay. Thank you for having me. Come on, let's, let's sit down. Sit down. You're welcome. I want you to forgive me. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you in the past. I know I hurt you so much. I called you names. I called my knees a witch. I'm not proud of my actions. And my mother is not proud of it at all. I'm deeply sorry. My mother has been grieving. She thought she was never going to see her grandchild. But here you are. I'm sorry, Raymond. Forgive me. It's okay. Just, just stand up. Just stand up. Please stand up. Okay. I've forgiven you a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I've, Mama, I've forgiven this family a long time ago. Please, okay. let's sit down. Sit down. It's okay. Sit down. Mama, sit down. Mm -hmm. but, you know the only reason over the years I never came to look for you guys is because I've been afraid afraid that maybe you guys will forcefully take my daughter away from me oh no no and uh, you also challenged me to prove myself Remember? 
I am beginning to think this point is way too much. <laughs> Mom, remember you brought up that I'm not giving you any cost to worry. No, please. I'm begging you just one more time to trust me. <laughs> Mom, remember all the stories you told me about you and Papa? Your father was a man. We struggled. We didn't meet by accident. He was always a hard working young man. Always impressing people from my village in Baku, where I come from. All these things you're seeing here today. Is from hard work. We worked for it. People work hard to get away from fat and make great names for their families and not to go back to the same poverty story. I am not going to judge that young man, whatever his name is. But if you say he is as Good as you say he is, let him prove himself. Thank you so much, Mom. Yeah, he would prove himself. I am not done with you yet. Since you remain adamant, you want to stay with this man. Fine. But as from this moment, I am relieving you of your duty in the company. And I am cutting off every allowances from you for now. The cars you drive are mine. I will take them back. Mom! <laughs> Don't use your father as an excuse, please. Your father started from nothing. He didn't even have a roof over his head when he came to Lagos. But this man has this for free and so much more. What? Sis. I'll be coming tomorrow to pick up the car keys. Well, so, it would have been a shame and Oge would have died in vain had I come back to you guys begging for you to help me take care of myself and my daughter. And Oge believed in me so much. She made me to make a promise to her never to give a child to you or family. It's not that she didn't love you people, but she wanted me to prove myself so that her decision to stick with me would not be made a mockery of. I know I'm not <laughs> where I want to be in life, but I'm sure Oge will be proud of where I am right now. I am so, so, so proud of you, my son. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just trying to let you prove yourself. Okay, meant everything to this family. She was meant to be the heir to the throne, even though she was the youngest. She meant everything to her father and all of us. Mama, I know. It's okay. I brought your daughter, <laughs> your granddaughter is in the car. Let me go and get her for you. Okay? Please. <laughs> Baby, you're looking so beautiful. Hi, mm. Mama, um, this is uh, my friend. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, Chidima's teacher. You're welcome. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much for taking care of my little girl. It's so beautiful, my dear. My child, that's your mom. So my mom used to live here. Yeah. This is her house and this is also your house. Does she have a room here? Sure, she does. And everything she left inside there is intact. You know, come, let me show you. Oh my god, she's so grown and so pretty too. Come on, come, come. You're welcome. You can have a seat. What do I offer you? Food, juice, water? Water would do. Thank, thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you for coming. Thank have you. a seat. Thank <laughs> you. 